and it's me joy slash fairy lucrative from the magical land of jing jang jujong thank you for joining me today i don't know if you are here because you are learning balloons if you are you're in the right place if you are adding a new string to your bow perhaps you already do some and you're looking to broaden your repertoire or you're wanting to do some fundraising whatever it is you're in the right place because i make the balloons that kids actually like so I've been doing this for about 10 years now and um, not the same balloon, uh, been doing children's entertainment and balloons figures part of what I do. And so I got a fairly good handle on what actually children like. That is quick and easy to put out there, okay? Not the complicated stuff. And as you can see, I am sporting some very beautiful um, uh, ring here and a matching bracelet. And it's so simple. You can go up to the flower tutorial. You can click up there. I'm going to show you though how I made these with 160s and they're slightly different when you'd make them with 160s. There's a couple of little things to bear in mind. So why don't we make one right now? Just remember to make sure that you leave a nice amount of slack there so that the poor child's circulation does not get cut off. If it is um, very tight, of course, just make it into a ring and um, you know they'll be very happy if one of the petals pops and that happened with me I just put it behind well it didn't pop it a bit of air came out so I just put the small petal behind there um, and you know and it was a became a four petal flower nobody mind uh, you can also make variations and I might make a variation in a minute because look I have actually from something that went pop the other day I've got a bit of scrap bubble there and that might make a nice centerpiece so let's do that now okay so I've put some air in this 260 I'll show you in a moment Let's tie that. Okie dokie. Squeeze it through to the end. Give the whole thing a big squeeze because we want it to be nice and flexible. You can see how much I've got left over. It's probably about three fifths. Anyway, give it a good squeeze. This is going to be a six petaled balloon. Now, if you wanted to, say, like with this one, what I did is that that centerpiece there is actually this one and uh, it's the end. And what I would do is like a, a, a fairly longish bubble because then at the very end, once I've made the whole, all the petals, I would then bend the nozzle round and wrap it in with all the other petals there like that. But I'd leave it out till the very end because you, know, you could do it at the right at the beginning if you wanted to. But we are going to make a... Um, um, a, a six petal balloon and we're going to use this one as well i'll add that on at the end then we're going to bring it round and we're going to leave a little bit of slack because we want uh the air to be able to move through the balloon yeah. okay so you can see that i've got a little bit of slack there but i'm now going to push the air all the way through there we are i'm going to find the center point so just push all that up like that find the center point pinch it and rotate one of the sides now it's quite important that they are um, the same height. It's actually very slightly higher. I think I can get away with that. And now, just like in the big balloon flower tutorial, we're going to make an end shape to measure off thirds, get an idea where the thirds will be. So I'm going to twist that third. And then hopefully the others will be the same size too. If not, I will have to slightly adjust it. See that first one's a lot bigger than the end one, so I, that's not going to bode well. So let's just try again. Make it slightly smaller this time. I think that's better. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to put my thumb through there, through there, through there, so that I'm holding on to the top links, and then the bottom links I'm going to um, get hold in this hand. Just push them together. Hold that out so it doesn't get in the way. Now I'm going to rotate these ones. Can I pull them up and rotate them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and that could happen. Right, so we are left with that. Get rid of that bit of scrap. So I've got a five petal balloon now, but that doesn't matter, does it? And I'm going to get that little bit of scrap bubble, which I had earlier. There it is. 
and I'm just going to pop that on there and take the other end, just wrap it around the petals. Got a bit of excess there, so I'm gonna I need to cut that off. Kidoki. It's quite pretty. Looks a lot bigger because I'm holding it close to the camera. But it's actually quite quite dainty. It's much obviously much smaller than the, the 260. Now we've got this and that we're gonna wrap around to make the bracelet part of it. I'm gonna hold hold it in my fingers there like that, stretch that bit up. And wrap it around a few times. Sort those petals out. There's the little bracelets. Now, when putting these on children, um, don't cut off their blood supply, obviously. And actually, that's very pretty little bracelet there. You can make these with scraps as well, but you find these scraps don't make quite such pretty bracelets. Anyway, that's all done with one balloon and that little bit of extra. And uh, could have could have just used a bit of the pink one if I wanted to. So there's another one there. Let's me sport all of them. Hang on, let me do some duck clips. Anyway, hope that was helpful for you. They are really quite pretty and they're fairly quick to make as well. So you can um, whip those out for, for little girls and boys, whoever, whoever wants to wear them. <laughs> Check out these other videos which are now popping up because these are all good ones. I can guarantee you that these are quick ones that you can do that children will enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for coming today.